we uh, are thankful that God has given Victor 15 years of life. Actually, 15 years and nine months. <laughs> so over 15 years. You were just as much alive when you were inside the body as when you became outside. <clears throat> All right. So we're going to sing a happy birthday to Victor. A happy birthday to you, a happy birthday to you. May you feel Jesus near every day of the year. A happy birthday to you, a happy birthday to you. The best that you ever knew. Lord, keep him shining for you. Lord, keep him shining for you. Keep him pure, keep him bright. Keep him pure, keep him bright. A happy birthday to you. A happy birthday to you. The best that you ever knew. Yes. <clears throat> I knew Victor when he was a little fellow like that. And he's grown up from being a boy to a young man. So. I think we got it today. I'm about an inch taller than you now, Titus. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I think I passed you up. Yep, you're passing me up. Let's find Father Lead Me Day by Day. One of our viewers sent me a whole box of these books. They're out of print. This is the hymnal that I grew up with. Mm. And I'm so grateful for these. Father, lead me day by day, ever in thine own sweet way. Teach me to be pure and true. Show me what I ought to do. When in danger, make me brave. Make me know that Thou canst save. Keep me safe by Thy dear side. Let me in Thy love abide. When I'm tempted to do wrong, make me steadfast, wise, and strong. And when all alone I stand, shield me with thy mighty hand. When my work seems hard and dry, may I press on cheerily. Help me patiently to bear pain and hardship, toil and care. May I do the good I know. Be thy loving child below. Then at last go home to thee. Evermore thy child to be. Oh, this one's one of my favorites. 630. Someday the silver cord will break, and I no more as now shall see. But oh, the joy when I shall wake within the palace of the king. And I shall see him face to face And tell the story saved by grace And I shall see him face to face And tell the story saved by grace Someday my earthly house will fall. I cannot tell how 
soon twill be. But this I know, my all in all, has now a place in heaven for me. And I shall see him face to face, and tell the story saved by grace. And I shall see him face to face, and tell the story saved by grace. Some day when fades the golden sun beneath the rosy tinted west, my blessed Lord will say, Well done, and I shall enter into rest, and I shall see him face to face, and tell the story saved by grace, and I shall see him face to face, and tell the story saved by grace. And we'll tell the story saved by grace. Yes, Fanny Crosby was blind. But God gave her the words to this song. And she said, someday I shall see him face to face. She had hope. She knew that one day she would see again. So maybe there's a blind person that's listening to this song and you can't see anything. And you have that disability. Take hope. Because if you keep following Jesus, the day will come when you will see your Father's face. The day will come when you will see Jesus' face. You know 596, Dad. Yes. Take the world, but give me Jesus. Five, nine, six. Take the world, but give me Jesus. All its joys are but a name. But his love abideth ever through eternal years the same. Oh, the height and depth of mercy. Oh, the length and breadth of love. Oh, the fullness of redemption. Pledge of endless life above. Take the world, but give me Jesus. Sweetest comfort of my soul, with my Savior watching o'er me, I can sing the billows roll. Oh, the height and depth of mercy, oh, the length and breadth of love, oh, the fullness of redemption. Pledge of endless life above. Take the world, but give me Jesus. Let me view his constant smile. Then throughout my pilgrim journey, light will cheer me all the while. Oh, the height and depth of mercy. Oh, the length and breadth of love. Oh, the fullness of redemption. Pledge of endless life above. Take the world, but give me Jesus. In his cross my trust shall be. 
Till with clearer, brighter vision, face to face, my Lord, I see. Oh, the height and depth of mercy, oh, the length and breadth of love. Oh, the fullness of redemption, pledge of endless life above. Mm. Yes, nothing can compare with what Jesus offers. The pleasures of this world are so short-lived. What should we thank our Father in Heaven for this evening? Worth of packages. <laughs> we had a marathon, <laughs> a package opening, and I'm very thankful for Rachel and Rebecca, who are becoming more and more skillful with the pocket knife to open the packages. They were a good help to open them and then to help carry them in the house and put them away. I'm thankful for Brother Jeff and that he's back from Kansas so he can sing bass with me. And I, I heard harmony on both sides of me while I was singing today. I'm surrounded by harmony. And what else should we thank our Father for? That it's my birthday. Yes, we can thank God that He has given Victor 15 years and around 9 months of life. Somewhere of 9 months. If Victor was a horse, he would have been inside the uterus for about 11 months, almost a year. And an elephant is inside the uterus for like a full year. Wow. Yep. And if you would have been a mouse, you would have been only inside for just a short time. Like feet, like I think it's like a month. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well I'm glad Victor wasn't born as a mouse because otherwise it would have stomped him to death. <laughs> I have stomped a few mice to death. But uh, usually the cats get them. Okay. Uh, what request should we bring before our Heavenly Father? Wisdom. Yes. Oh, Jeremiah. That's a good idea. Just, just lay down and go to sleep. <laughs> go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep now. Jeremiah, while the wind blows through the trees, sing a melody to me. Go to sleep, Jeremiah. Angels are watching over you. Go to sleep now, my dear. Angels are watching over you. Yes, we're, we're giving you permission to just lay down and go to sleep. He's thinking about it. <clears throat> oh, all right. Yes. Okay. Anything else that we should ask for? Our Father owns the cattle on a thousand hills. Um, the building permit situation? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, the state people came out and visited me and we're going to do an update video as soon as we can to kind of fill you in on details on that. So that's kind of thrown a monkey wrench into the machine. But God's will will be done. God's house will be built. But it will not be without opposition. But we know who will win. Yes, we, all right. Anything else? Let's pray. Our Father in Heaven, we are so thankful that while we were swinging machetes today that no one got cut. We're grateful for Rachel and Rebecca as they were wielding pocket knives that they didn't get cut. We're grateful for your protection uh, while we were shooting with slingshots that nobody got hurt. You're so good. Um, we have so much to be thankful for. Thank you for Victor and his over 15 years of life. Um, we're grateful, Father, for how you're blessing and keeping us and 
we asked for the the uh, permit situation and the opposition that we've been having lately that you would overcome and we know that you will give us wisdom to know how to navigate please strengthen us for the days ahead we ask also that you will speak to us as we open your word we ask in Jesus name amen All right who knows what Philippians chapter 4 and verse 19 says Philippians chapter 4 verse 19 says, My God shall supply all your need according to His riches in glory by Christ Jesus. My God shall supply all your need according to His riches in glory by Christ Jesus. My God shall supply all your need Philippians chapter 4, 19. My God shall supply all your need according to His riches in glory by Christ Jesus. My God shall supply all your need. Philippians chapter 4, 19. Repetition deepens impression. My God shall supply all your need according to His riches in glory by Christ Jesus. My God shall supply all your need. Philippians chapter 4, 19. So, about, oh, probably seven years ago or so, uh, I was going, I had gone to a medical missionary school in Wildwood, Georgia. And so then later I went to go visit down there and it was winter time. And so I was on my way back and I was riding on the OPC transportation system. OPC stands for Other People's Cars, also known as God's Transportation System because he arranges people's schedules he puts it in the people's heart to have courage to pick up somebody that they have never met before. So anyway, um, I was uh, walking and riding and riding and walking, and I had gotten some rides, and but then it got dark and very cold. And after dark, it's very rare for people to stop and offer you a ride. Um, and so I thought, well, it is so cold. I'll go and uh, there's a motel here and I will uh, get a room. So uh, I went inside and I had some money and I said, well, I'd like to uh, get a room for the night. And she said, okay, it's, uh, I think she said like $50. And uh, I said, okay. And uh, she said, uh, well, I need to see your driver's license. I said, oh, I don't have one. She said, oh, well, uh, an ID. I said, oh, I don't have one. And she said, oh, I'm so sorry, but um, I cannot sell you a room uh, without some form of identification. And she said, if I did, the police could, uh, you know, get me in trouble. And I said, oh, okay. I said, that's okay. And so I was preparing to uh, just turn around and go out. And she said, oh, she said, I'm so sorry for you. She was Hindu. I'm so sorry for you. It's so cold out there. What are you going to do? And I said, oh, I will be okay. My God, he cares for the little birds. And if he cares for the little birds, he will care for me too. And she said, what will you do? It's so cold out there. I feel so sorry for you. She said, would you like to see my God? I said, yes, I would. And she pulled out a picture. She said, and here's a picture of my God. And she showed me this picture, and uh, she said, uh, and he, he died in, in 1973. 
And so Hindus worship many gods, many gods. She said, I, I, I fast and I pray to my God. I'm devoted to my God, but he doesn't answer me. And I said, oh, I said, well, my God, he died too. But he rose up out of the grave <laughs> and my God is alive. And, and he takes care of me. She said, oh, I'm so sorry for you. What are you going to do? It's so cold out there. I said, don't worry about me. My God will provide. He takes care of the little birds. He'll take care of me. So I gave her a little book uh, that is called Steps to Christ. And it explains about the God that I serve and how we can come close to Jesus. So then I went outside and I thought, well, I could start a fire, but it's like kind of by the interstate, maybe... Maybe the authorities wouldn't like it if I just made a campfire, you know, right off the highway. That might, you know, not go over too well. And so then there was a McDonald's there. And I uh, thought, well, I'll just go in there. It's warm in there. And so I sat down and, and um, then I was just praying, like, what, what should I do? What should I do? And uh, then this couple came in. And the woman was dressed very modestly. And I thought, oh yes, they're Christians. And then they kind of approached me and said, hey, uh, how are you? And I said, oh, I'm doing well. And um, then they said, is, is there something we could do to help you? And I said, well, yes, I, I have money for a room, but I, they won't sell me a room without you know, an ID. Um, and I really, it's cold, I really need a place for, to sleep for the night. And then in the morning, I'll head back home to Kentucky. And uh, at this time, I was in uh, Tennessee. Uh, so I had gone, the Wildwood um, College of Health Evangelism is near Chattanooga, Tennessee. So I was in the route from the uh, Wildwood, Georgia, which is on the border of um, Georgia and Tennessee, and I was on my way from there back home to Kentucky. So I, anyway, so uh, the older, the, this couple said, oh, well, we have been preaching a revival in this area. And uh, so we'll, uh, we'll go with you up to the motel. And uh, so we'll check you in. So he, we went, went up to the motel and the preacher said, uh, oh, this guy would like a room. Oh, okay. And so... Uh, he checked me in and I slept like a baby and the next morning the Lord provided transportation and I walked and I rode and I rode and I walked and the Lord brought me home so was it the same lady no we went to a different one that was across the road um, so I have found that my God does supply all my needs and I have found that my God when he promises he fulfills his word <laughs> so, either God keeps his word, and his word is truthful, or he's a liar. And I have found that God's word can be trusted. Alright, let's pray. Father in heaven, we are so thankful. So thankful. Thank you for Jeremiah and his youthful energy and help him to be quiet during prayer. Thank you, Father. Thank you that you do provide for our needs. We're so grateful. We ask for those who are viewing that you would encourage them, that our faith in you would increase and grow. Grow us up, Father, into the people that you want us to be, that we would not disappoint you, but live a life that's pleasing to you. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen.